Buon d'Italia, ci troviamo con uh, Stur Allegred, siamo in quel di Passo di Lavazzelli, in Terra del Dolomiti a Part N Rooms. Hi Stur, now I, I have to ask you, tell me some Italian words. <laughs> Molto bene, eh? <laughs> I think you just do this and it's good, so no need to speak. <laughs> Because we, we know that you like our countries two um, summer in a row that you came here, not for trainings, but for holidays. Yeah, I mean, uh, Italia <laughs> is such a great country and... Uh, You have the warm south and you have the mountains in the north and uh, it's just a bit warmer version of Norway, so a perfect place to go to. Where did you go? Uh, this year I went uh, because I was biking uh, racing this and then I started uh, from here, Navazze, ah. and I stopped in um, uh, Milano. Oh. And then uh, I, on the way back I stopped near Pisa and uh, also a few days in uh, Venezia. Oh, wow. But then I got sick, so I oh. didn't get to ex explore Venezia, but uh, yeah, still a good trip. Uh, next target for Italy? Next time? Where do we want to oh, go? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I haven't been so... I haven't been to Rome, so ah. I definitely need to go to Rome. So, uh, uh, no football games this uh, year? Uh, this year, no uh. football games. Last year we were to Naples. It was an historical season for them, yeah, so it was... <laughs> so it was perfect to go there, to watch them, so it was really good. Uh, but. This was the only match they lost during the whole season. No! So it was, it was the best. But, uh, which, which games was it? Napoli? It was playing against, uh, against AC Milan. Oh, okay. But beautiful game. Yeah. Yeah, it, they lost 4-0. So <laughs> people started to leave and it was... Uh, oh, you were unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> you have to return. They have a good season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, uh, talking about your training, your uh, shape. Yeah, the, it's going well. Yeah. I had some um, some few uh, sickness and injury in the summer, but uh, since August it's been really good, and uh, I feel I'm uh, ah, on the way to be uh, be good this winter. But you never know; the, it's always something can happen, and there is yeah, a lot of things you cannot um, control. But uh, I feel I have uh, a good shape and a good shooting, so hopefully it will be enough. It was a, a roller coaster season for you last uh, last year. Uh, but what do you mean for you to win a gold medal in Nove Mesto and two races in Oslo in last season, in a difficult season for you? Yeah, I feel I feel like I just uh, picked the best <laughs> yeah. things to win, and uh, the rest was uh, like this. Uh, but to have these three uh, highlights of the season really uh, motivate me, and uh, it really made this a good season after all. I mean. Um, You always want to be better and better and better, but uh, it was difficult last year uh, with the bad uh, start, with the sickness, and then uh, I struggled a bit mentally after the, um, the shot in Enserheide. So it was always something that was keeping me from being my best, and then I'm really satisfied I managed to really be my best in the sprint in the Mesto, and uh, I showed how good I can be. I, I, I don't want to return to Lenzer either, but just to, to ask you, how do you, do you manage to do it? Because, you know, I, I, I remember after Lenzer it was yeah. like mentally destroyed yeah. for you. It was a very mm -hmm. difficult moment. But uh, in Oberhof, two times, uh, two second places. So immediately you yeah. change your mind. Oh. <laughs> it's uh, maybe one of the perks of being a biathlete that you work so much mentally and uh, you are able to put um, tragedies behind you. <laughs> uh, I mean, even a mistake is a tragedy, so yeah. you learn quickly to not let these uh, things bring me down, but to work through it, uh, see what happened, how can you prevent it to happen again, and then learn from it, and then put a new line and <laughs> start again. And I feel like I used the Christmas to just get over this incident and uh, came out the other end in a stronger mindset. So it was, uh, yeah, it was not a. Best thing to happen in in uh, the winter, but uh, I managed it quite well. And now, next season, let the rider World Championship. <laughs> it was perfect. It would be perfect. Yeah, it, it would be nice. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, I did two quite good races before I... Uh, yes, I remember, yeah. So, I, uh, we were there uh, last uh, camp, uh, and uh, the sofa was still standing there <laughs> with a small hole in it, so <laughs> it will be there to remind me next time also, but... Uh, i uh, i still uh, i think i can make some good memories uh, on top of the bad one that we exist i know that's uh, it's the last question but it, i know that it's so far from now because there are the olympics here in italy in Antwerp, okay but 2020 now it will be probably 30 few, few. 
to teach you. Years. Yes. So what do you mean to you for you to have the opportunity to race in a world championship in Oslo? Oh, I mean, I get jumps <laughs> now just thinking about it. So, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's a dream, you know, when you saw your idols competing in the world championship in Oslo. Yeah. You were just, wow, how are you able to experience this? And I was also there, but uh, as a forerunner, I was doing the, the loops of the tracks before the, um, the the race start. Yeah. So uh, I was watching them up close and just wow. dreaming of being there myself. And now I get to do it in 29. So uh, I will definitely be working towards 29. It's a big goal. It was the same that Doro and uh, Dominic Windisch uh, told me before. Told me before uh, um, Antol's uh, World Championship 2019, 2020. So it's beautiful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you.